Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful is the Lord. Hallelujah, say. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Everybody say. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. 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 One more time. Wonderful is the Lord. I say. Wonderful. Everybody say. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You are wonderful. God of wonders, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for always doing wonders in our lives. Thank you for RCCG worldwide. Thank you for Daddy and Mommy Gio. Thank you for all our fathers in the Lord. Thank you for all the members of RCCG worldwide. Thank you for our lives. I serve our thanks in Jesus' name. Today, do your wonders in our midst. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, you are prayed. Jam your hands together to Jesus. I want to thank our daddy and mommy in the Lord, daddy and mommy Gio, for giving me this privilege to speak on this great altar. I pray that the Lord will continually bless daddy and mommy in Jesus' name. They go from glory to glory, from power to power, in the name of Jesus. We also celebrate all our fathers that have been laboring in the vineyard. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Can somebody shout wonders? Louder if you can. Come on, shout wonders. Today we have to speak on understanding the God of wonders. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, it says, get wisdom, and with all you're getting, get understanding. God will not tell you to get something you don't need. Wisdom is different from understanding. Wisdom is the correct application of knowledge. And understanding is comprehension of the knowledge or information you have received about something or about God. Lack of understanding leads to confusion and frustration. Lack of understanding of the God of wonders can make you doubt God. Most believers, the major problem they have is the problem of what understanding if you don't understand mass you can fail mass if you don't understand your spouse you may not know how to relate with your spouse if you don't understand your boss you may not be able to relate to him very well if you don't understand that the jew and the anointing he carries when he prays for you you may not receive anything you may not tap daddy told us one day that someone came and said please pray for me this problem and daddy looked at him and said the Lord bless you. And he was like, is that all? Praise the Lord. And that simple God bless you. Brought him back again. Can I pray for you in that same voice? The Lord bless you. I said, the Lord bless you. Please, before we continue, there's something about wonder. Wonder is something that is marvelous, that is amazing. It's amazing. There are two words, we call them signs and wonders. Say with me, signs and wonders. Preceding wonders are signs. When they tell you that you will not be a graduate in life and God gave you admission, it's a sign. Somebody say sign. Somebody say sign. If you were told you will not marry in life and God gave you, you are rightly engaged with a brother now. Somebody shout sign. 
If you were told that you will never amount to something in life and suddenly things are changing, it is a sign. Can I prophesy? You have been seeing signs in your life. Get ready for wonders. Oh, come on. I said, get ready for wonders. Wonder is the elder brother of sign. Praise the Lord. Quickly, how do you understand the God of wonders? Number one. Number one, follow him. Point to your neighbor and say, neighbor, follow him. The only way by which, the first way by which you can understand the God of wonders is by following him. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. Matthew 4, verse 19. And he says unto them, follow me and I will make you. Follow me and I what? And I will make you. You can't understand God until you follow God. And by this I mean follow his instructions. The Bible says in John 2, verse 1 to 10, John 2, verse 1 to 10, it talks about the story of wedding in Canaan. Mary told them, he said, whatever he tells you to do, do. Until you follow God, chemistry cannot change to mystery. He said, pour water. When God gives you instruction, do not add to it. If they had poured salt or sugar, their results will be beer, not, not wine. Follow instructions. Stop editing the instructions of God. You can't see his wonders. To get original results, follow original instruction. Some of us, when God tells us to do something, that is why we start quoting Hebrew. Hello? I don't care whether you know Hebrew or Hebrew. Whatever God tells you to do, you do. Praise the Lord. One day I was in a church and I was called that somebody is dying. I took her to the office. And before I got there, the prayer where they were praying. They were praying. Before I got there, the Holy Ghost told me. He said, Don't pray. Praise. As I got there, the prayer warriors, they were putting more energy. I said, hey, shut up. Shut up, calm down. The guy was saying, I said, shut up. As we are praising God. As we are praising God. Suddenly the woman that was dying rose up. And started jumping and praising God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. When we are going up, they will say prayer is the master key. Praise the Lord. Prayer is just one of the key. The word of God is a key. Seed is a key. Dancing is a key. Jumping is a key. And shouting is also a key. Can somebody shout? God can just tell you that problem of so many years. It will just say, just be dancing. A woman came to a garden and the Lord told her, get excited. She's been running for years. He said, get excited. And she got excited and was dancing. And that baby came. Praise the Lord. Follow his instruction. Number two, follow his direction. Isaiah 30 verse 21. Isaiah 30 verse 21. He said, you shall hear a voice saying, this is the way. And you know what? The Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and life. May the way show you the way today. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said, may the way show you the way today. In the name of Jesus. Number two, how do you understand God? Check his examples. We understand mathematics by examples. While we're growing up. Testimonies are examples of his wonders. Check his example. For instance, our daddy is a living example of the one that I call greatness. When you check his life, you understand that God is a lifter. May God lift up somebody today. I say, may God lift up somebody today. Sometimes you need to see wonders and hear wonders to understand the God of wonders. Scattered our scriptures are the wonders of God. Praise the Lord. Recently, one of our members came with their two, her two children. A child, a boy not up to 10 years has glaucoma. I was so angry. Now because I am a beneficiary of the wonders of God, I was supposed to die through kidney problem, but I didn't die and I didn't use anything. 
So I knew that God will, I lame, I said, glaucoma, get out. Following Sunday after test in specialist hospital, they came back, glaucoma disappeared. Can I pray for somebody here? In the name of Jesus, every disease you came here with disappears today. I said disappears today. I said disappears today. Testimony time is actually overcome time and wonder time. Opportunity to learn from the wonders of God. Praise the Lord. While my wife was eight months, seven months gone pregnancy, I preached in church on Sunday. As I was going back home, I heard, we are coming for your wife. I said, my wife? On Monday night, I had a relation that I was getting married to another person. So I knew that they were serious. Praise the Lord. So I went to the prayers. On Wednesday, I was told, we are coming on Friday. And on Friday, these devils came. While we were praying, suddenly, my wife slumped with a pregnancy. I held her. I said, no way. It's a miracle working God. I shook her. Come back. Come back. She got back. We carried her to the room. Praise the Lord. And she said, yeah, my baby, my baby. I said, baby, kick. And baby shook. Hey. And baby shook. As I'm talking to you now, the baby is about four years old. Somebody shout, wonder. If you are here and you think that baby will die, I am here to announce to you that baby will not die. I said that baby will not die. I said that baby will not die. Point to them and say, the devil is a liar. So also is mother-in-law. Hallelujah. So listen to testimonies. Testimonies are powerful. You understand God by the things you hear about God. The third one, for I close, if you want to understand the God of wonders, you must learn to wait. Turn to them and say, wait. Oh, come on, come on, say, wait. Come on, say, wait. When people have gone ahead of you and you're afraid, hey, go and what? Go and wait. The Bible says, stand still and know. Isaiah, Psalm 46, verse 10. Stand still and know. Most times you just need to keep quiet. And wait. Luke 24, verse 49. He said, tarry. Somebody shout, tarry. If you are in a hurry, you can't tarry to carry the blessings of God. If you are in a hurry, you can't tarry to carry the blessings of God. Now listen to me, believers. In life, overtaking is allowed, not overspeeding. You don't need to overspeed to overtake. You just need to increase your speed. Can I tell somebody here? God is increasing your speed. I said, God is increasing your speed. Those who understand the God of wonders, they know how to wait. The womb that will carry Samuel must learn how to wait. Because when baby Samuel arrives, one Samuel is better than all the children of Penina. And I remember somebody here, you came here barren, you are living with your Samuel. The louder amen, the faster it happens. Wait for God, then you understand God. Wait on God. When God says vengeance is mine, just calm down. There are some things that are not yours. Tight is not yours. God's glory is not yours. Vengeance is not yours. They may have pushed you aside, but wait. The God of wonders is cooking up something. In the name of Jesus, as you wait, you will experience wonders. You lack understanding of the God you serve. That is why you are struggling with forgiveness. God said, wait, forgive that person. A woman was barren for 13 years, and I want to go to the church and said, the Lord said that you are barren for 13 years, pastors are praying, nothing is happening. The Lord said, go and forgive your brother-in-law. And imagine, after she forgave her brother-in-law, the brother-in-law offended her, 
13 years of marriage, they were living together and she refused and the womb was locked. Praise the Lord. Immediately she forgave her mother, her brother-in-law. Boom! A child came forth. Stop fighting. Wait. Wait and see the wonders of God. Wait. Stand still. Wait on God. Don't be in a hurry. What we call success in this generation has made so many young people always in a hurry. Hello? The Bible says, the Lord is good to them that wait. Talk to anybody and say, neighbor, go and wait. Because when, the, when you wait, the hand of God drops upon your head. Hello? There's a song, trending now, powerful song. Owo oluwambe loria. Can you sing it louder? Everybody say. One more time. Owo oluwa. Ongbe me fo. Ah. You need to wait for the hand to rest upon your head. You cannot understand the God of wonders when you are in a hurry. May God give you grace to wait. Lastly, I'm, I'm here to tell somebody here, eyes have not seen. Somebody say, eyes have not seen. Say, ears have not heard. What God is about to do in your life. Can you give the Lord a shout? Shall we rise up? If you want to clap, clap to Jesus. If you want to clap, be better. Oh, Jesus. There is somebody here, you have been seeing signs. It may even, it may even be in your dreams. Can I announce to somebody here, get ready for wonders. In that marriage, get ready for wonders. In that career, get ready for wonders. They may have sacked you in the commercial bank. Go and apply in microfinance bank because the World Bank is waiting for you. Oh, I said the World Bank is waiting for you. In the name of Jesus. When you understand the God of wonders, you fly. Wonders become your daily experience. Lift up your hands. One prayer point. Say, Father. Say, Father. Give me understanding of yourself. Open your mouth and pray. Give me understanding of yourself. Give me understanding, Lord. Give me understanding, Lord Jesus. I want to understand you. I want to understand you. I want to understand you. Give me understanding of yourself. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Can I prophesy before you live here, you experience your wonders. You have been seeing signs before we end this service. May you see wonders. May you see wonders. May you experience wonders. Come on, give the Lord a shout.